Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's learn how to convert fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. Let me take a fraction first. Okay, let me take a fraction like three quarters and let's try to find out what that's equal to in decimals. Okay, so let me first make a number line. Okay, and try to put this three quarters or three fourths on the number line. So I have my number line starting at zero and it runs, say, up to four. And each of these intervals is at an increment of 1. Okay, so what I have, the first one is 1, the second one is 2, the third one is 3, and the fourth one is 4. Okay, now how do I represent 3 quarters on this number line? Well, if I mark from 0 to 3, this colored part over here is 3 parts. So this colored part over here is 3 out of the 4 parts, right? This number line is divided into 4 parts and 3 colored parts out of the 4 parts is the fraction 3 quarters. Okay, now what I do next is I take the same number line, okay, I take the same number line and I copy it here and instead of running the number line from 0 to 4, what I do is this time I have it run from 0 to 100. Now, if 0 to 100 is divided into 4 parts, then what is the interval at which each of these parts is? Well, if 100 is divided into 4 parts, then each part is nothing but 25 because 100 divided by 4 is 25. So, this is 25, then the next one is 25 plus 25 which is 50. The one after that is 50 plus 25 because the increment amount is 25. So that's equal to 75 and the one after that is 100. Now let's see what fraction this colored part represents, okay? So the colored part, which is still three parts out of the four parts, okay? See, this is one part. This is part number one. This is part number two, right? This is part number three and this is part number four. So it's still three parts, this colored part is still three parts out of the four parts that the number line is made up of. So the fraction three quarters is now equal to or is represented by the fraction 75 out of 100, right? Because the colored part is 75. This from here to here, 0 to 75 is 75 and out of a total of 100. So the fraction three quarters has now been changed to 75 upon 100, okay? So what does that mean and why did we do that? Well, what this means is that this fraction over here, 75 upon 100, is still the same as this fraction, 3 upon 4. But why we changed this fraction, 3 fourths or 3 quarters, to 75 out of 100 is because we wanted to convert this 3 quarters to a decimal fraction. I'll show that to you in a bit, but first let me do one more thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same number line, okay, and copy it here and this time instead of having it run from 0 to 100 what I'm going to do is have it run from 0 to 1 and actually 0 0.00 to 1.00 okay make it a decimal fraction line so now that each so now that the number line runs from 0 to 1.00 what is the interval at each of these parts is at well each of these parts is at an interval of 0 0.25 because 1 when divided by 4 gives you 0 0.25. So this is 0 0.25. The next one is 0 0.50 and the third one is 0 0.75. Okay, each at an interval of 0.25. So what you see here, what we see here is this number line is still divided into four parts and the colored part which is from here to 0 0.75 is equal to the fraction 0 0.75 out of 1.00. So this fraction is still 3 out of a total of 4 but it's represented by a different fraction. Okay, And if we drop the 1 from this fraction then what we get is this decimal number 0 0.75. So the fraction 3 quarters is equal to the decimal number 0 0.75. Now let's see what we did here. But what we did at first was we had this fraction 3 quarters and we changed it to a decimal fraction 75 out of 100. Now why we changed it to 100 is because I told you we wanted to convert it to a decimal fraction. Now what is a decimal fraction? Well a decimal fraction is a fraction in which the denominator is related to 10. So it's 10 or 100 or 1000 or 10,000 or basically 1 followed by any number of zeros.
So a decimal fraction is a fraction in which the denominator, this guy over here, is a number that's related to 10. So it's 10 or 100 or 1000 or 10,000 or basically one followed by any number of zeros. So the first thing that you have to do when you want to convert a fraction to a decimal is you take the fraction and find a number so that when it's multiplied by this denominator over here will give you a decimal number. So in our case we found the number 25 and what we did was we multiplied the denominator by this number 25 to get the decimal number which was 100 and we did the same with the numerator so what we did was we multiplied the numerator as well by 25 and we got 3 times 25 as 75. So the first thing you do is you change the fraction or convert the fraction to a decimal fraction. All right, what's next? Well, the next step is pretty simple. 75 upon 100 as we know from a previous lesson is nothing but 75 divided by 100 and 75 divided by 100 gives us the decimal number 0 0.75. So what you have is the fraction 3 quarters is equal to the decimal number 0 0.75. Okay, now how about we do the reverse? That is, we are given a decimal number and what we want to find out is what it's equal to in fractions. So let's do that. Okay, let's take a decimal number like 0 0.75 and let's first try to represent this in fraction. So 0 0.75 is nothing but equal to 0 0.75 upon 1, right? Or 1.00. I put two zeros after the decimal point because there are two places after the decimal point in the numerator as well, okay? So what we have is the decimal number 0 0.75 is equal to the fraction 0 0.75 upon 1.00. But that's not the end of it, okay? That's just the beginning. Let's actually do what we did before, that is put this number or this fraction on the number line, okay? So what I do is I have the number line run from 0 or 0 0.00 to 1.00. Now I don't know how many parts to divide this number line into because I don't know what fraction of this number line is the decimal number 0 0.75. So I just randomly put it anywhere. Okay, so I put it here. Okay, so let's say that this over here is our 0 0.75. So this is 0.75. Now what fraction of this number line is this colored part over here, this colored portion over here? Well, this colored portion over here is equal to 0 0.75 out of 1.00 and that's quite obvious from the number line. Now how about I take the same number line, okay, and instead of running it from 0 to 1.00, what I do is I drop the decimals, okay, I drop the decimal point and have it run from 0 to 100. So then obviously this guy over here is 75, right? All I did was I dropped the decimal point to two places after the decimal point, okay? So the first number is 0, the second number 0 0.75 becomes 75 and 1.00, the third number becomes 100. So now the fraction that this colored portion over here represents is 75 out of 100. So all we did was change this guy to this guy. This fraction over here 0 0.75 out of 1.00 to 75 out of 100. And now what we see is we have this over here as the decimal fraction because the denominator is 100 and that's related to 10. Okay, so now what we've done so far is we changed 0 0.75 to firstly this fraction over here which was 0 0.75 upon 1.00. Then what we did was we dropped the decimal point which means we multiplied both the numerator and the denominator by 100 to get this new fraction 75 out of 100. Now all you have to do is simplify this fraction. Okay, so you simplify this fraction, let's divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5. What do you get? You get 15 for the numerator and 20 for the denominator. Let's simplify it one more time. What do you get? Divide it by 5 one more time, you get 3 for the numerator and 4 for the denominator. So there you go. Your fraction has been reduced to 3 quarters or 3 fourths. So your decimal number 0 0.75 is equal to this fraction over here which is 3 quarters or 3 fourths. Alright, so that's how you convert decimals to fraction. Actually, let me show you one more example, a little bit different one. 
Okay, so what I have is I have a number like 2.625. Okay, and I want to convert this decimal number over here to a fraction. Now, what I do first is I split this number into its whole number part and its decimal part. And now I'm only interested in the decimal part, so I keep the whole number as such. And what I do is I first change this decimal part to a fraction. So all I do is I put it upon 1.000, three zeros because there are three places in the numerator after the decimal point, okay? Now, let's drop the decimal point. What do you get? You get two plus 625 out of 1000. Okay, what you did was you dropped the decimal point, which means you multiplied both the numerator and the denominator by 1000. So you got a new decimal fraction, which is 625 out of 1000. Okay, now all you have to do now is simplify this fraction. So simplify this fraction, what do you get after simplifying? 625 and 1000 can both be divided by 5. The numerator gives you 125 upon division and the denominator gives you 200 upon division. Okay, let's uh, simplify one more time. 125 divided by 5 gives you 25 and 200 divided by 5 gives you 40. I think this can be simplified even further. So what we do is we divide it one more time. So 25 and divided by 5 gives you 5 and 40 when divided by 5 gives you 8. Now I think it cannot be simplified anymore. So we stop here. So what have we got? Well, what we've got is we've got 2 plus the fraction 5 upon 8. And that we know is equal to the mixed fraction or mixed number 2 and 5 eighths. So there you go. Your decimal number 2.625 is equal to the mixed number or mixed fraction 2 and 5 eighths. All right. I think that's all I'm going to talk about in this lesson. I hope you understood what I taught and I hope that now you'll go back and practice some because practice makes perfect. So go to www.homecampus.com.sg to find some practice problems and also to see how good you're getting at math. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.